my steps in order are cleanse, exfoliate, tone, essence, eyes, serum, and moisturize. So let's get into it. The first thing that I do is I take off my eyelashes. Let's just get that. And to take off my eyelashes, I use Garnier's Marcellar Water. And I don't rip off my eyelashes because um, you'll wind up taking out some of your own. And that's what makes your, your eyelashes really thin and weak. So um, I use the Marcellar Water and I just... And I put my lashes underneath my t underneath my natural ones, so they don't the stri the, you don't see a strip on top of my eyes. So this helps you see in this, because even though they're under, you can still strip your own. And see, they just come right off. Once I do that, they just they just slide right off. And that way I don't have to sit there and be peeling off my own eyelashes. And that's it for the eyelashes. So here comes the cleanse part. I have this charcoal cleansing oil. I love this stuff. It only takes two pumps. Take two pumps, and I don't know if I can show you this, but no, I can't show it to you. But it has charcoal in it. That's how I get this off for a day. Just rub this all over. I rub it on my eyes, my eyelashes. This cleansing oil is the truth. It will get everything. And it rinses really clean too. It doesn't leave any oil residue. Once you rinse it off, your rinse is very clean. And that's what I'm going to do next. I exfoliate with my own type of my own cleanser that I've cooked up in my kitchen. I didn't really cook it, but it's it exfoliates because it has the baking soda in it. It's baking soda, coconut oil, and tea, tea, tea tree oil. And it's all natural, of course, because it's coconut oil, baking soda, and tea tree oil. And I just make sure I rub this all over. Try not to get around my eyes because it is foliating and I'm not trying to cause, you know, that, that, it, that skin around your eyes is very thin and I'm not trying to cause wrinkles or do anything that will harm that area. So now that I've exfoliated, I'm gonna rinse this off and we'll go to the next step. All right, now that I've gotten that all off my face, now I am going to tone. And toning just to make sure that I've gotten all the, the residue from the coconut oil and the um, baking soda tea tree off my face. But I just tone, and all I use is witch hazel. You can get it at Walmart for a dollar something. This is just making sure I've gotten everything 
off my face. As you can see, there was still a little bit. And that's why it's important. <clears throat> you have to make sure you cleanse your face because, you know, your face is taking a lot of abuse during the day. You got the pollutants crashing into it. You got folks that don't want to wear a mask coughing around you. Not to mention the makeup that you put on your face. But your face does take a lot of abuse throughout the day. And it'll make you pay for it if you don't take care of it. Wonder why we walk around with wrinkles and and uh, crow's feet. And, I mean, if you're predisposed to get them, I guess there's nothing you can do. But I ain't trying to do all that. I'm trying to take care of my face. So, now that I've cleansed, what I say? Cleanse, exfoliate, and tone. Now it's time for essence. This is my favorite, favorite thing. I, I joined them. I'm an ambassador for them, right? Actually, it's called Cleanse Clean Skin Club. And as you can see that, it's a brightening booster. Because I, I got it in my BoxyCharm box. In my BoxyCharm, yeah, box one month. And I fell in love with it. So now, this is an everyday, just an everyday thing. So I'll put my code down below so that you can get percentage off if you decide you want to use it. You want to try it rather. So, all over from my face, on oh my Decolletage. Well, actually, it's just my neck. I'm not really putting it down here, but mm, I love this stuff. And then what I say, eyes, right? And what I use on my eye is oil of LA retinol. Can you see that? This is what I use on my eye. Uh, And this is going to help with puffiness, dark circles, tired eyes. It's supposed to help with wrinkles. I don't have any wrinkles on my eyes, thankfully. Knock on wood. But um, it's supposed to help with that. I finish it off with my rock um, night cream or eye cream. This stuff is really good too. I use my rock, um, what is this? Deep wrinkle serum. I mean, I don't really have no wrinkles, but it's still good. Um, I'm gonna put this all over my face. And now for the final step is moisturize. That's actually not a final step. I got a bonus step for you that I do. So my next thing is, so I, you know guys now, I told you I use Pons and I've been using Pons. I'm 50. I've been using Pons probably for, I've been using it for a long time. And then this, I found this and it's oil of LA's age to find night cream. This stuff feels so good y'all. So I put this on my face. This is what I use to moisturize. And then I use my my elf um 
facial oil it's, it's CBD oil I don't know if you can see that because of it but it's CBD oil um, 100 milligrams CBD oil and I use this oil on my face to lock in the moisture So I mentioned earlier in the video about taking your eyelashes off and how it can cause you to have thin and um, thin and brittle lashes. It cause them thin and sparse. You'll start losing your lashes unless you know you, if you just rip them off. And depending on how much um, glue you use. So what I do is I have every night. I take my I take eyelash and eyebrow growth serum on my eyes and that's just to keep my my eyelashes I know you can't see them but I have some eyelashes they really you know the men in my family are blessed with eyelashes long eyelashes the women not so much but I use ooh, I just dropped everything but I use this um, to keep my eyelashes from from falling out, let's say that. So I just line. Line like eyeliner. And then I brush the serum down the lash. And the beautiful thing about this one is that you can use it on your bottom lash line too. And then this one, oh, left one out. I got this one I use, it's a brow serum. Lavish Lash Brown Serum. So that goes on my brows to make sure I have nice eyebrows in there. Because you know, as you get older, your stuff starts thinning. And I'm not trying to have no bald eyes. You know what I'm saying? Tell you menopause. That half she be she be making women go through it. And then the last thing I use is my um conditioning treatment on my eyelashes to keep my eyelashes um soft so they don't get brittle. And that is it. This is not part, but I put <laughs> I put on lip gloss at night, and this is not my part. I do this because <sighs> I have hot flashes and I have night sweats, so this helps because we have the AC, the AC on and the fan on, so my lips tend to dry out. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start putting lip gloss on. It's thick. It keeps my lips moisturized, keeps them from looking dry. And that's my nighttime beauty routine. And, you know, that's what I use to prevent wrinkles and keep my skin moisturized and just try to con maintain a youthful, you know, whatever I'm trying to say. I'm tired. It's time for me to go to bed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and please uh, 
like, comment, please subscribe to my IG page, to my YouTube channel. All information is in the bio. Thanks for watching, guys. Good night.